Sir Paradise, picking Paradise, and it is Tuesday. Tip of the day. Uh, this was uh, one that I've been thinking for, uh, thinking about for a long time, um, and you might have a guess of what it is. <clears throat> maybe a, a tip, uh, I guess, uh, or maybe a suggestion, or um, whatever. But we're talking about cheap pinning trays right here. So here's some of the ones that I used to use in the beginning. I uh, pulled out this one, which is just a little 3D model one, but uh, I didn't know anybody that did 3D printing. Uh, this is something I got recently, but that is eventually what you guys will probably end up wanting to do. Find somebody that has a 3D printer on the community or in your neighborhood, or maybe you have one yourself. Go to thingiverse.com or something like that, and uh, they've got files for pick trays, and you they're all kinds. You can pick from all kinds. Um, <clears throat> but uh, for the longest time, and oh, yes, and I got a funny story, if I've got time for it. Um, in the beginning, in the beginning, um, <clears throat> I used to use these. This is what I use most of the time. Um, and these are like little air condition, like condenser feet pad, you know, like the little, like they're like a dampener that sits below the condenser so that way when it's on it's not going to like rattle and just like so these dampen that um and yeah they have them at uh local ac uh supply stores and stuff they got little bitty ones they got bigger ones um i just found these around a job site because i am a general contractor and that's easy for me to do uh, so yeah anyway so those are some of my favorite and actually i had a thought like this one would be good for me to clean up. It's been in my workshop for forever where I make challenge locks uh, when I do make them and stuff. So it's all dusty and, and dirty, but like I was just thinking this would be good for the high pin count locks because you can kind of organize like top to bottom and there's a lot of rows <clears throat> for those guys who pick those fancy uh, high pin count locks. Um, I'm trying to get there with this uh, Kesso, uh, which was one of my um, questions for him, I think it was like tip of the day 20 or something like that. And Lakeview Locksport, I think is his name, commented. Uh, so what it was, was it was the Sergeant Kesso on the edge. But then we also had a LFIC Medico, not a SFIC. And yeah, I'm a bit of a stickler when I ask questions. So yeah, yeah, bro, you didn't get it right. You got it wrong. Um, he always tunes in and always comments. So, Hey, thanks. Um, so AC dampener pads, cardboard, everyone has kind of heard about that. Uh, I left this one kind of like half done. I'm a little bit of a, a tweaker, I guess. Um, so like I scraped all this off to make it like neat and clean. And, you know, if I was really going to use it a little bit more then I would probably like rub this down with a little bit of oil or something, maybe like something to kind of get rid of these little furry things. But it's actually kind of difficult to kind of peel all this stuff off and get it nice and clean. But get you the thicker cardboard is better. Uh, maybe even the corrugated plastic kind of cardboard stuff, the packaging material would be good. But cardboard, you got to rip off one side, and uh, that's a good pinning tray. Uh, these are something that I kind of came up with the, from my industry. Uh, deck shims. <clears throat> They're composite shims. The, some make them like this. You can see how that can make for a good pinning tray. And then, uh, and then just uh, the round ones as well. So these are these are very very cheap. You can buy like a pack for like two bucks, three bucks, and you get like you know eight or ten of them in a pack. So obviously that's a very very cheap pinning tray, which you can just toss around and have tons of them laying around. Uh, so that's great. Uh, but yeah, eventually step up to something like this. <clears throat> so yeah, the funny story. Yeah. Um, Everybody likes free stuff, man. So I, when I was doing this, it reminded me, uh, I went the, the longest of times uh, when I first started picking without having a pinning tray and buying a pinning tray. And uh, <laughs> talking about the rules and like how I'm a little bit of a stickler for kind of rules and technical type stuff um, <clears throat> is uh, there was a Reddit post back then uh, that was like, hey, you know, I've got an extra sparrows like pinning tray one of those like little rubber ones i think i've got one now if i look around <clears throat> yeah i think i've got it somewhere right here it was like one of these guys um and it was like a uh, first uh first 
first person to comment that doesn't have a painting tray and kind of needs one, um, but doesn't have one yet, um, you know, go ahead and comment and I'll send you one. Well, <laughs> by the look of my collection and stuff back then, even people could, could tell that I could definitely afford a, uh, $8 painting tray or whatever this thing is. I just, for something I had a bug up in me that back then I was like, ah, I'm never going to, I'm just not going to buy one. I'm going to use this and I'll use that and, uh, whatever, one of those stupid decisions that we make. Uh, but then when I seen that post, I was like, oh, well, I, I don't have a pinning tray check. And then I was like, um, I, I could kind of use one check. Uh, oh, I am the first person to see this post check. <laughs> So that I commented and there was a little bit of banter back and forth. And uh, of course I was sort of joking, but hell man, everyone likes free stuff. <laughs> oh, I got a good kick out of it. I did not get the penny tray. He sent it to someone else, uh, which I felt was funny. Cause then I looked at their account and they got like pictures of like four wheeling with a really nice Jeep and stuff. And it's like, well, if you can afford a really nice Jeep, then you don't really need one either. So like, what's the difference between you or me? <laughs> Um, so yeah, good, good stuff. Good fun. Uh, good fun interaction there. Um, and, um, uh, yeah. So, uh, I think this is Tuesday tip of the day, 20, uh, 22, 22. I can't look at my phone yet, but, uh, I'll put it in the heading. Uh, but yeah, it's uh cheap pinning tray options. It may be 23 actually. Um, but anyway, cheap painting trays, uh, deck shims, composite shims, whatever you want to call these guys, cardboard rip off the thing, AC dampener pads uh, for the feet, and then uh, 3D print them on Thingiverse. Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot, guys, and uh, thanks for tuning in. I, I really appreciate it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why the hell you guys want to listen to me, but uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Aloha.